Wait, is that Chi? Is that supposed to be Chi? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. Do well to subscribe if you like what you see and would like to see more. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. So a few months ago, I had the chance to watch a 2016 black history movie titled The Birth of a Nation. I had previously read an article about Nat Turner, an enslaved man who claimed to be chosen by God to lead a rebellion of enslaved people on August 21st, 1831. 56 black people were accused of participating in the rebellion and were executed along with a massacre of about 200 black people. His rebellion resulted in the murder of the Travis family, managed to secure arms and horses, and enlisted 75 other enslaved people that resulted in the murder of an estimated 55 white people. Even though I had already read about it, I was excited to watch it in film. I was greeted by one of the Ghanaian dialects in the first scene, a variety of one of the Akan languages three, and yet I couldn't even understand what the character was trying to say. I remember saying, is this supposed to be Chi? I am a Fanti, which means my mother tongue is a variety of one of the Akan languages, which is Fanti, but I am also fluent in Chi. Chi has always been featured in Hollywood movies as far back as 1980. In a few of them, the lines were spoken by Ghanaian actors who spoke them very well, such as in the case of the late Frederick Christopher Kwabna Jebuo Asanti Eskin in Dogs of War 1980, William Amachi in 227, and according to Jim, Hugh Kwashi in Arabian Night, and quite recently in Netflix drama Away in 2020 by Morty, mostly known as Bex. Unfortunately, there were also a few cases where Ghanaian actors like Abna Ansa in Shameless Season 7 Episode 3 didn't do so well with how she spoke the dialect. The Asante tree spoken in an episode of Sleepy Hollow is also nothing to write home about. If I should compare how Chi was spoken in The Birth of a Nation 2016 to how it was spoken by child actor Aiden Stocks, who played the role of young Quisi in Netflix drama Away 2020, the former is so much better. Sadly, in most cases, the language is not well spoken, and I think since Hollywood is frequently using Ghanaian language now, they should make an effort to ensure that they speak the language well, or at least close to the actual pronunciations. I understand that for them, Chi is a foreign language and may not be compulsory for them to speak it perfectly, but they should at least try because if a native and a fluent speaker of the dialect finds it difficult to recognize and understand the words being spoken, then it just means they did a bad job as a production when it comes to African languages. Some of the films, including The Birth of a Nation, failed to recognize Chi as part of the languages used in the film details. Information about the film on Wikipedia and International Movie Database do not include Chi as part of the languages used in the film and gives credit to only English. Believe me when I say this is not the only film that failed to give credit to Chi. I don't know if that happens with other African languages as well. So this is what I decided to do. I am going to correct all the three phrases that were pronounced wrongly and audibly voice out what it actually sounds like. There were a few words in the film that did not mean the exact thing they really wanted to say and I realized this when I downloaded a subtitle for the film. An example is using Encentrini for sign rather than Encentrini because Encentrini means miracle and not sign as seen on little Nat Turner's chest in the first two minutes of the film. Those are signs and not miracles. So the first thing the man said is, Inata Adiano. This means take off his clothes. But in the subtitle, it says bring him here. This is wrong because bring him here is Fanobra in tree. For the second statement he makes, the only words I could recognize is Enkoda, Encentrini, and Wo. These three words mean children, miracles, and in, respectively. In Kwada means children, in Sentraini means miracle, and wa in that context means in. 
yet the womba in Kwenifweni. This means they were brought before the elders. It is the elders that give them responsibilities. Responsibilities that would last a lifetime. The first responsibility is wisdom. The second responsibility is courage. But he said immature. This means the third responsibility is vision. Akwadawe kura yen nananum in century ni konkono. This child holds the holy mark of our ancestors. He was born to be a prophet for our people. So we should all listen to him. The difference between what I said and what the actor said, and I'm not even an Asante tree person. I'm a fancy. In the end credits, I realized that the production had a dialect coach named Joel, who worked on set as a miscellaneous crew. Whoever he is, with all due respect, if he was the one who coached the three dialects used in the first scene in the movie, then I'd say he did not do justice to his job at all. It says in his profile online that he coaches any dialects of spoken English and most requested dialects. So we've come to the end of the video. I hope you understand what I was trying to do and I hope you liked and enjoyed it. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment. If whether you disagree with me or you agree with me or I said something wrong, feel free to share your opinions on this video. And also, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and also share because if you like this, then maybe someone else will like it too. So feel free and share. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.